I could put that on a t-shirt, bare minimum book content. So, I'm not in a great mental space, um, and I haven't been for a couple weeks now, because it's like I hit a wall, um, and I couldn't explain it. I had to call my husband this weekend, like in the mall parking lot because I was looking for a drop-off box and I couldn't find it and I got so frustrated that I was not going to get something done in time. I called him and I told him my brain felt sick and he calmly explained where the drop-off box actually was so I could stop panicking. And um, and he pointed out something to me. He said, I don't think you know how to relax, which sounds kind of callous, but like what he meant was you have existed on such a plane of like productivity for four months that your brain literally does not know how to calm down. And he's right. Even with the fact that I've had like a month off from school, I technically haven't had to do any schoolwork other than what I want to assign myself to do. I haven't calmed down. Um, I haven't played Sims. I've been reading, but like I've been like punishing myself with reading, not like enjoying it. I mean, I enjoy it. Some of the books have been very good, but like I'm making myself read them. And I think part of this is the reason why today, um, in the year of our Lord, 2020, the 15th of December, I really want to get bangs. Um, I know it's very cliche to do something with your hair when you're not feeling mentally well, but hear me out. Um, I've had them before and they look really good. And I've heard my mom and my husband both say over the last few days, oh yeah, you look really good with bangs which is all the confirmation I need. Now, I'm trying to talk myself out of it, and I don't think that I will drive to the salon right now and see if they are open and have them give me bangs, um, because obviously I'm not that dumb. I'm not that mentally unwell that I'm going to cut my own bangs. We're not at that level yet, but what I'm saying is if, if bangs happen by the end of this day, then just know that I lost that battle. Just know that that happened. A few moments later. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> they weren't busy. <laughs> they weren't busy and she thought it was a good idea. I think I look cute. I look kind of like the main character of Fifty Shades of Grey. But I look cute. Um, and now I'm going to go... Actually, part of my plan today was to turn in this library book that I have had since August. But to my credit, the due date is not until tomorrow. So I'm technically still within my due date. Um, but I'm going to go walk in here and turn this in. And then I'm going to come right back out. Love driving all the way here to Greenville just to turn in the library book. If I had just, if I just read it in a day and turned it in. It's, and it's, I think I'm, I'm thinking of ending things. I finished this. Like, the day I got it. Uh, anyway, I'm a good person, so I'm going to turn it in on time because that's what I'm supposed to do. So, let me go do that. I don't know if the library is open to the public necessarily. Um, because school technically isn't in session, and I don't think we're doing winter courses yet. And I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I don't know if anywhere's open on campus. So, maybe somewhere on this campus. People are working, right? So... I don't know, we're gonna see. I asked the girl at the circulation desk, I was like, the bathroom's open to the public, and she goes, oh my God, we would not do that. Yes, you're fine. I was like, can you imagine this whole EB library, and they're like, no, you can't use the bathrooms either. All right, so that's done. Now I get to leave. I think I'm gonna go to Target, try to find a Christmassy face mask for some stuff that's happening this weekend, and uh, head back home because I've got work and cleaning to do. Always. Honestly, I don't mind masks the time of year, except for the obvious fog issue. Um, but it's just a matter of getting like some defogger. But it's cold. <laughs> like it's not even 40 degrees outside today. Um, and it's really nice to have something kind of on my face. Um, to be able to breathe some warm air. So now I'm back in the car again. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go to Target see if they've got any like Christmassy masks. Um, not gonna spend very long there because I do have stuff to do today. Um, but it's nice to be just in and out. There's like nobody on campus. There's nobody in the library. And I know this time of year usually is like grades have been turning and everybody's going home. But like it's so weird to have like nobody around. Anyway, off to do the rest of my stuff. A little longer than a few minutes later. In retrospect, I guess I'm not sure why I thought Target had Christmas themed masks. Um, 
I didn't end up finding anything. Uh, and really the only reason I came here is because I have a gift card. So it would have been like free money. Um, I know that Belk has some. But I am not fixing to go to Belk today and deal with mall traffic. I'm going to take my ass home. And I'm going to do what I have to do at home. And I'll decide which of my masks is the most Christmassy to wear, I guess. I don't really need one, but they did have a bunch of cute, like, regular everyday masks, so I may come back and get some of those later, but if I don't have to do it today, I'd rather not deal with the checkout lines. Uh, everybody gets crazy around Christmas, so I'm just gonna stop participating and go home. So, I've not really done anything today besides work. Very uneventful, boring stuff. I know you're probably tired of this particular viewpoint of this lovely steering wheel. Um, but right now, I'm sitting outside my husband's job because he gets off at 4 and it's like 3.30, so about 30 minutes. I'm going to read The Lovely War, which I've been reading on Kindle, uh, so I can hopefully get a little bit more of that finished. That's probably going to be the next to last book to get me to 100 because I think I'm going to make the 100th book A Christmas Carol. And then after that, everything's just kind of like bonus. Like if I read something and it's over 100 books, cool. Um, but I'm trying not to stress about it. I've got enough to stress about without worrying about how many books I'm reading in a year. Um, I'm still enjoying my bangs. I've been feeling myself all day. And uh, just kind of hanging out. So yeah, not a lot of book content. Not like bare minimum book content today. So, but that's usually my life. I could put that on a t-shirt. Bare minimum book content. So I finished lovely war I cried a few times uh, because I'm a baby um, but it was really good uh, I have loaded up the life and adventures of Santa Claus which is the an L Frank Baum book which I didn't know the guy who wrote Wizard of Oz wrote a story about Santa Claus um, but it's the basis for a really obscure Rankin Bass cartoon that they show around this time of year. And it's such a, like, LSD trip of a story that I really want to read the book now. Um, and then maybe watch the adaption of it. And it's free on Kindle, so why not? Um, but before I read that, I'm going to read A Christmas Carol. Because now that I have finished Lovely War, I only have one book separating me from 100 books. So, I'm hoping maybe I can finish uh, Christmas Carol tomorrow so that I can go ahead and film about the 20 books I read to get to 100 and then I just can read for fun. and I won't feel pressure to get to 100 because I've already gotten there. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this 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 vibe. Um, pay no attention to that cord hanging. Um, this very minimum book content video. Uh, I did talk about books briefly and I held one up on camera. That should count for something. Um, and anyway, yeah, so this has been just a random vlog to kind of tide you over. It's an appetizer for a main course maybe next week for Christmas. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>